Hello everyone, my name is Seema and welcome to another video. What are we discussing today? The topic for today's discussion is as you age, do you want to grow better or bitter? This has a lot of meaning. Why? Because as we go through the ups and downs in life, we face all kinds of challenges, all kinds of betrayal, all kinds of hurtful things, traumas that we did not expect certain individuals to play in, in our lives. And that causes a lot of sorrow, pain inside us. So what is your option? You're, you have two choices, either you get very bitter about what happened to you and the unhappiness inside, which is stored over the years, grows leaps and bounds. And that bitterness now spills to everybody around you, your spouse, your children, your family members, everybody around you gets a piece of that hatred. And guess what happens when people are served pain on a platter or negativity on a platter people don't want to deal with you people just shun your um, company right and once twice they'll keep quiet they might say oh they might, you know we understand we you know be sympathetic towards you but eventually everybody runs away right nobody wants to deal with all that negativity and then you're left alone you're left alone to suffer you are reliving everything that happened in the past and living in the past causes depression and brings in more sickness to you. See, we are human beings. We need other people's company. We need fulfilling relationships to be happy, to be of use to other people. See, we are, we are social beings. If we isolate ourselves because bad things happen to us at a certain point, well, then we are hurting ourselves because those things happened in the past at some point of time. Now, by recreating and reliving these things over and over and over again, we, it's the, that hurt is being multiplied many times. Is that the right thing to do? I don't think so. See, I'm an artist and when I paint sometimes, what happens is either sometimes the colors get muddy. You know, when you mix certain colors, it turn like brown colors, right? Colors of brown and I'm not too thrilled with it and uh, sometimes uh, the canvas can get dented or the uh, it can even rip sometimes because of the way the paint was applied or, or something that happened my option then is to throw away that canvas or do everything in my power to fix it that's the only choice I have if I throw it away then all the hard work is gone right or my other option is to take that canvas, fix it, make something beautiful out of it. And that's called alchemy. Alchemy, whether you do in your work or in life, in relationships or anything else, is very important. You transform something negative into something so beautiful, right? That is That power of transformation, that power is within you. Whether you choose to exercise it, exercise it or not is up to you. So, same thing is, is, is true within um, your life also, right? So, if you choose to get bitter, you'll be very, very miserable. Instead, learn to become better. It's all right if people didn't behave nice with you. If one person was not nice to you, that is not your fault. That's their problem. If you know you're good, if you know you're a good person, if you have a good heart, your intentions are good, and if uh, you're trying your very best to do the best in life, then somebody says something, how does it matter? That is their perception, that is their insecurity, that those are their issues. If they are listening to the wrong people misguiding them or their own heart which is misguiding them, then that's not your issue, that's not your problem to fix them. Your 
Our problem is only to ensure that this one bad happening doesn't become a traumatic thing in your life forever, right? If you take that one instance and let it grow so big in yourself, then you're going to not be able to function. So just ignore a bad thing that happens, a bad comment that somebody makes or the fact that they resent you or don't, don't like you is, is their option. Other people like you, right? You, you, you're fine. You know you're fine. And it's not up to you to explain yourself to everybody or prove yourself to everybody. You let people have their own opinion. You mind your own business. And then if you can overlook certain things, you learn to become better because, okay, if you were unlucky that not even one person was nice to you in your life, then you be that one person who is nice to other people, right? Try doing one good act for a stranger. If all known people are a problem, then go do one act of kindness for a stranger. You will feel fulfilled. You will feel happy. And that way you've made yourself a better human being and rather than being a bitter person throughout your life. It's a, it's a very nice thing to see an older person these days who's happy with themselves. Most of us will become very bitter in life and make our old age really, really bad for us to survive. And then all we do is wait for death to come and end our life. We can... In, in another way, we could be helpful. We could be a main part of the society, just being positive, just trying to live a better life and being a good resource for people around us and a good inspiration and an example for other people. Nobody wants to follow somebody who's so negative all the time, who's so miserable in their life. Everybody wants to be inspired by a person who can be an example for them to follow. Learn to become that. Learn to inspire people. Learn to motivate people by the goodness in your heart, not by the bitterness that you're holding, holding in. Okay. So, um, it will again happen with time. It will happen because you make that choice. And um, you'll be a happier person that way. And you will have a more fulfilling life, more people who like you, more people who surround you with their own care because you care for them. And care doesn't mean just empty words. Care, caring means you're actually doing something of value for them. You being um, somebody they can look up to you, look up to whenever they're in uh, need. So hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching.